another bag I made several bags and I'm still in the process of showing you them but this one I thought I, I thought I'd tell you about this is called I follow a, a, a Facebook page uh, someone who makes bags and just call she calls her company Spencer Og and she's recently turned out a purse called the Worsley wallet that's a Worsley wallet and basically it's a strap that comes down there and slides into a little slider and I joined the group the Spencer Og group I joined a few of these handbag groups just to see what they make if something catches my eye and this kind of caught my eye and I thought um, I wouldn't mind making it and at the same time as I thought that I wouldn't mind making it um, somebody in that Spencer Og phone it, in that Spencer or group uh, decided to have what you call a secret swap and uh, which was basically um, they were going to do a Worsley the Worsley wallet secret swap this this actual wallet and so there was um, what they were going to do was not they, they were going to you you wanted to join the competition so you said you contacted them and said you wanted to join and then they would give you a person's name of who was going to be who you had to make a wallet for but that person wasn't necessarily going to be making a wallet for you so it's basically it, you had no idea who was making your wallet and you were, and they didn't know who was making anyway the person who was making the wallet knew who they were making it for so they had to secretly find out what kind of colours they like but the person who was getting it made didn't know who was making it did you, did you get that do you understand so it, on this page there was a lot of uh, does anybody like this colour does anybody like this fabric does anybody like that and everybody who was would say yes no or whatever and you would the person who was making that person's purse would hope that whoever it was that they were making for might have made a comment about it or they may anyway forget about that there was a Worsley wallet swap <laughs> it's too it's too complicated for me I, I, I must admit there's been so much toing and froing on it it's too complicated for me but I didn't partake in it and the reason why I didn't partake in it was because it seemed rather manic like that. I was thinking, if you don't know who, if you don't, if you know who you're making it for, but you can't tell them that you're making it, and you've got to secretly find out what the colour schemes are that they want, it was just so manic on that page. But then I decided to download the pattern and make it myself. And so um, this is my first attempt, not without hiccups. Um, I did have some problems with it but that's the first attempt of my Worsley wallet and basically it slides up there that slides out now I I'm not sure I'll, it's a great idea because it doesn't it takes a bit of force to get that out but it is a bit fiddly and um, it does look nice it does look nice but it, it looks it feels a bit fiddly and um, so you undo that you open that and inside you've got your um your credit card there you've got 246 credit card then a pocket then your zip your zipper purse and then a pocket there and i suppose you could put your your phone could go in there your money can go in there your credit cards you can go away and take it away you can take it you know out for the evening or something and basically the way she has made it is she's intended it to be like a, a shoulder bag i don't know if you can so the fitting on the back which was like a bracket like that you can't really see it very well because the of the pattern but here is a little bracket that like that holds the chain well i downloaded the pattern and i thought well i'm not going to partake in this it's, it sounds a bit manic it's it, i'm looking forward to seeing the end results but it wasn't really it didn't appeal to me the the manic things and i hadn't done it before and i figured that if i my first attempt is going to be rubbish so i'm going to have to make at least two or three before i dare send that to someone and i'm dreading i keep thinking god heavens what happens if that if somebody does one and send it to somebody and that somebody doesn't like it and thinks it's rubbish or you know I mean there's all different standards of, of workmanship and you know 
blessing the person who thinks they've done well and hasn't. You know, I, I really feel for them if whoever gets it says it's awful. So, um, anyway, this, this is like this on the front and on the back, well, I had to stitch it and I stitched it with my sewing machine, which normally does very well with, uh, with lead, well, not so much leather, but, uh, imitation leather. But could I, heck, get it to sew properly on the back? So in the end I had to put, I put little brackets, little studs on, and even they didn't work very well. So I've got three studs here, I just thought I'd do it as a design feature, and I was doing that at about 11 o'clock last night, and I, I was sitting with a hammer in, to, to make the hole in the fabric, and I'm thinking, oh God, I'm going to wake all the neighbours up. So, um, but I haven't made any chain on, or, or I haven't got anything attachment yet there for that. But uh, I liked it, thought it was a nice idea. She explains it very well. Um, not something you could quickly whisk, you know, whisk your phone out and then fasten it back in. It's a bit of, you're going to have to sit there and fiddle with it a bit. But uh, I do think it's it's got potential as a nice idea. Um, again, I'm not really a bag person. I just figured I'd try it and I think it's a good idea. And... Um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what the creations are that everybody else has made. Will I do another one? Don't know. I was when I, As I was making it, I was thinking, well, this will be my trial, and then I'll do a proper one. But um, I don't know. I haven't decided whether I'll do another one. Probably not. I do like it, though, but probably not. piece about the Worsley purse which I've made which is that one um, I made a little thing to hang at the back not really keen on that this is my this was my first attempt as I've told you but it's it's not a bad little purse um, I figured that if I had that I could carry it like that or um, I basically I sent away for these are far too big and I, I had I thought, well, I've got them, I might as well use them. So that that is slightly too big, it flops around a bit on there. But I figured that for me, if if I was going out on a, on a night time or whatever, I can stick it like that over my arm. Or even if I was carrying it, I can carry it like that, or I can t turn it into a, into a single handle. The same as my other one, I can make it like that so that I can carry it like that. I didn't have much fabric left to make a big strap, so this was all I made. Um, not bad, I went out yesterday with a little bag like this uh, shopping, so I just had my phone and my card in and I just figured that's, it's not bad if you're just going shopping.
was a little uh, shoulder bag I made with a blue strap to go around. Blue isn't really my colour. It used to be. I used to wear a lot of navy blue, but I don't now. And I bought this fabric from Tanya Fabric. I laminated it. Can you hear it? The only thing I don't like about it, the noise it makes. So I think probably I should have sprayed it with that spray. It's not in the centre. I was a bit annoyed because, well, I just got it made and I thought, oh, you haven't even... For all I thought I'd centred it, I hadn't. And so it's not, it's off centre. This looks like, because that's in the centre and that's off centre, it just doesn't look right. I made a little tassel to go with it. Um, inside, little pouch inside with a zip. Close that. It's uh, blue cork and it fits with the little magnetic the mag magnetic clip. It's not too bad but as I say the fact that this is off centre is a bit irritating for me. So it's kind of a, a first attempt. Would I make it again if I did it right? Mm, probably I might do but uh, I, I want more to a bag. I find it's a little bit too, there's not much to it. But it is a straightforward bag for if you're the first, if you've ever, you know, first, it's one of the first bags I started making. But um, it's not a bad little bag.